Why is my fire light BQ12 LX coming back with an invalid response? First off, the address inside the pole station may be set to the wrong thing, as shown right here. As you can see, this is device 1M001, so it's set to 1M000 in here. To fix that, we grab a screwdriver and we flip the switch to 1, or whatever your number is. And then in a few seconds here, we should see the activity light start flashing again. You may have to reset the panel. And there we go. Our pull station is now fully working again. We can go and test it. Anyway, on to the next example. Second scenario. Your BG12 LX is not responding, and when you pull it, you get a short circuit on SLC number one. SLC one short. So whenever you get this, the first thing you should do, and do this immediately, is reset the pull station to avert the short. Do not repull the pull station until the problem has been resolved. To fix this. I first need to position my camera. To fix this problem, the reason for this problem is normally that you have wired up the SLC loop wrong. To fix this, if it's on the pull station side, first take the pull station off the wall and take a look at the wiring on the back. This pull station is an improperly wired pull station. The positive wire is connected to the um, SLC module bypass and we need to connect that to the SLC module output. So. Make sure to wire everything according to the SLC field wiring guide that comes with your panel or the wiring guide that is included inside your pull station's manual. So we first remove the screw and move it over to the other, to the other port. Make sure you have a drill or an impact driver to do this because it's hard to do. It's hard to do it over. And then we put our wire, our missing wire, into the empty port. You can already hear my panel doing some stuff. I forgot to mention that you should always power off your panel before doing this. I forgot to do that, so it's too late now, but. I can already see, I can already see my pull station responding. Just take this in now. And there we go. We have now properly rewired our pull station and it is responding. So before you put it back up, go ahead and test it. And there we go. As you can see, it's responding now. So now the next step is to put the pull station back up on the wall. So, use the proper mounting hardware. I lost one of the screws that came with the pull station, so I'll use it. 
Try not to jump scare yourself by accidentally hitting the switch. If your panel's already powered on. And there we go. Now, if it's still not working, check the inside wiring. Here's the wiring diagram for the SLC loop, which is on TB10. And TB10 is right here, as you can see on the silk screen label on the printed circuit board. And it also has an SLC label, a label right there. Now, if we take a look over here at the wiring diagram, you can see that terminal number one is B positive and terminal number three is B negative. You want to connect your positive wire to B positive and your negative wire to B negative. And then after that, and after you do that, your pull station should work. And there we go. As you can see, our pull station is fully working again. Now, if your pull station is still not responding, you may have used the rotary address switches improperly. So, in a second here, we'll see a trouble come up on this panel that says, 1M001 invalid response. And 1M001 is this pull station's address. And here's the trouble. As you can see, it says, trouble monitor, panel pull station, um, invalid response, 1M001. That is what this pull station right here is supposed to be programmed to. So the way to fix this is you take a flathead screwdriver, open up your pull station, and take a look at the rotary dials here. As you can see, this is the 10 spot, and this is the 10 space, and this is the 1 space. So if you have an address like 17, you're going to have to put this to 1 and then... Seven on that side. Now, on this one, my address is um, just one. As we saw in here, 1M001. So we just flip it to one, and then in a second here, we should see our activity light come back on, and we can then test our pull station again to make sure it is working properly. And there it is, and now let's test it. Now, if this still does not fix your problem, you may be dealing with a defective unit. In the case that it is still not working, first call up Firelight Support and ask them for any other tips. If none of those tips work, your unit is most likely defective and needs replaced. I hope this video helped you with your BG12LX, and I am going to fix this from being crooked in just a second. So. That way, you people with OCD do not get bothered by it. And I don't blame you, it bothers me. Um, and let's do that right now. We're, we are going to fix the crookedness on this pool station on camera. And I have just fixed it. Bye. Plastic thing broken here. No, it's not. I'm just not making much sound. Okay. And there we go. Our pull station is no longer crooked. And let's go and test it one more time, just for kicks. These spectral advances are loud. Yeah. And, like I said, I hope this helped you guys, and I will soon be coming out with a video, hopefully, that is called How to Install a Firelight BG12 LX with, and on, an, on a Firelight MS9200 UDLS Addressable Fire Alarm Control Panel. So, stay tuned for that, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. And then, here's one last look at the inside of the BG12 LX. Once again, these are the rotary wheels we talked about, this is the little LED that is blinky 
and this is the pool lever that has the spring connected to it, and yeah, that's everything. So, now you may notice that after a while, after using your BG-12, it will eventually clasp itself closed if you put a little bit of pressure right there. So yeah, um, there is all possible problem. I uh, uh, um, to my knowledge, all possible problems that be that could be rendering your BG-12 LX inoperable. Now, if you get a new unit and it still doesn't work, you may be dealing with a defective panel. Worst case scenario. Um, so I hope that does not happen to you guys, and I'm glad that mine's working. Uh, but yeah, anyway, thank you for watching. I hope this helped you guys, and I will see you guys later.